right. What's up, buddy? Sup, sup? We're at Mitsubishi Boniface Hires. If you guys want a Mitsubishi, come over here and ask for Caesar as your salesman. Get you guys a nice little car right here. But it's not today's video's topic. Today's video is actually going to be about this girl right here. Um, I just happened to be up here saying hi to my girlfriend, but I'm going to go through the whole build sheet with you guys. Um, I get asked a few times uh, throughout the week about what's on my bike, what I've done on my bike. Everyone loves my R6. This is like the overrated 600, but I usually get compliments on mine and say that like they want my exact kind of spec. Um, OEM plus is what I like to call it. So, oh my back. I'm having horrible back problems at the age of 24, guys. Chat. It's not looking good. Anyways, I'm gonna pull over somewhere else and not in the middle of the ocean so I don't cause like havoc. Which way am I supposed to leave? I guess the same way I came in. Oh, having horrible back problems, but we'll be all right. I was mobbing up here, I'm not gonna lie. I was, <laughs> I was doing some things on the way up here. I forget where the place is. Is it down there? Is that what I'm thinking of? Or is it down here? Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? Oh, is it that? It might be that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right. I think it's down here. I don't think it's, it's a complete coin flip. So, oh, it's not this one. That's fine. We can just. I don't know what just happened. Oh. Like, don't be a cop. It's over here for sure. All right. All righty then. We're gonna film over here. Oh yeah, we got a boat to look at too. Oh, gonna be fire. No delivery trucks past this point. No, 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 no. It's fine. All right. All right, all right, all right. About a da 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 da. Anyone down, no one's down here either. Oh, that's fire. No one's down here. It's going to be a great day. I can already tell. All right, let's get the bike nice and lined up for you guys. All right. Because the exhaust side's now facing the way I want it to face. Here she is, in the beautiful sun. Hopefully they're like not looking down here like, what is this kid doing? It doesn't matter, we're filming, it doesn't matter. Anyways, here she is. You guys know the deal if you're, if you're the regulars here. 2018 Yamaha R6 with the tasteful mods on it. We'll go over it from start to finish. My first, I have to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Um, it's not really a sponsor, it's more or less someone who's helped kind of bring this bike to life and keep this bike running. Uh, it's GP Bikes. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos on the screen about what they do, etc. Um, I'll kind of go over in detail probably when I'm editing this, um, but just for now, kind of I'll talk about it. Uh, Sharky's on the shop for 20 some years, I think. Uh, they do amazing, and I mean amazing work for half the cost, usually uh, speaking of a um, actual dealership, who in my experience, dealerships, whether it be a car dealership or a bike dealership, the work's always half ass. I've never been a fan of it. Sometimes, I'm not gonna say all of them because sometimes you do get a really good dealership that does really good quality work, but a lot of times with me, all of my cars and my bikes, whatever it may be, I always get screwed over. Like the first time ever bringing my bike to a shop, they left it out in the rain all night. You see what I'm saying? It's like, why? But that's not GP bikes. GP bikes is really cool. Overall, it's a great, 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 great shop. Tell them that Wishes brought you there. They'll probably hook you up even more. Um, but they did the steel braided brick lines for me. They did my clutch repair or clutch replacement, chain replacement. All my new tires always go through them. I've also done one track day with them. They do track days every couple months. You can sign up. Anyone can sign up. You don't have to be some special guy to sign up. But yeah, GP Bikes, their things on the screen, pictures and everything. Um, I'm also going to show some B-roll of all the bikes they work on, etc. I know I'm talking a lot, but like I seriously, seriously mean it when I say the shop is like, it's a really, really good shop. Um, that's put my levers on, almost forgot about that. Um, but that's besides the point. We'll get into the bike now. If you guys want to support me and you want to show some love to them, if you're in the Palm Bay right, area, Melbourne any, area, like, really or even quick, like a little further out, they, make the drive, make bikes, the ride, go see how to Sharky. If you want to get some good quality uh, work done for a fair price, 
Sharky's the guy to go to. He, he is the number one. On the goat in my book. Out. I'm going to miss him when I move out of Florida. But anyways, enough yippee yapping. Let's go over the bike. All right, so we're going to start. Where do we start? Chat. Hmm. It's it, this isn't like some crazy build. I don't have a turbo. I don't have... <laughs> I don't have, you know, it's not lowered, it's not stretched. Some people be like, oh, it's not even tuned. It kind of depends on what you want, though. I think people forget there were still OEM Plus lovers, and I think the older you get, the more you, like, that reliability factor means a lot more, and not just, I, I'm fast. And that's kind of where I'm at on this bike. I want reliability and a bike that works the way it was meant to work, just with that little extra, bah, you know what I mean? So this will start in the front, as you see it the most, probably. Well, you guys don't, but I see it the most. Um, fairly simple. We have the zero gravity. Uh, factory bubble but tinted um, so there's not really function here it's more or less just it looks clean um, it's tinted obviously but it doesn't look like aftermarket it looks like factory just a little nicer has a nice tint not some dare I say ghetto tint uh, the ones that just like you know peel off or look really really bad you can't even see through I can see through this you all see through every single video and uh, moving down we have the mirror deletes by Logitech shout out to Synergist he put me on with these guys it's the slickest or sleekest, I guess, looking mirror delete. These are expensive. This is going to run you 70 bucks. I forgot to mention, this is like 120, I think. I forget how much I paid for this. I paid for like one day shipping a long time ago. I forgot why I did it, but yeah. 120, and these are like 70 bucks. Um, the mirror delete, just so the bike doesn't look as antlerly. Antlerly? Antler. You get you get the point, what I'm trying to say here. All right, you get it. You Shut up. Shut up. Everyone shut the, the voices. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Moving on. So yeah, we have that's in the front. It's very simple and nothing crazy. Um, I've heard people have silver rivets up here. My bike came with the black ones. So I didn't do this. This is not like a mod. I would consider these bolts or screws or whatever you want to call them a mod. But these are just black plastic rivets um, that hold this in. Just I've seen some people with silver ones and they ask me about that sometimes. So that's the answer to that. Um, we'll go, I guess we'll just go down because this is the most recent thing that Sharky Shop did. Uh, steel braided brake lines with ABS. So for the most functionality, you're gonna to wanna to get an ABS delete. But for me, an ABS delete for this bike requires, from what I was told, is you need a whole new Brembo Master Slave cylinder, plus you need uh, a plug for ABS delete. So then you put like a Brembo kit on here, but that might have just been for the Brembo brakes low key. I don't remember. So maybe don't quote me on that. But the whole point is I was gonna put Brembo brakes on, but as time went on, I realized that like from factory, these brakes are just fine. It's just the brake lines that could use the upgrade. and. I wanted to keep my bike OEM plus and getting an ABS plug for 500 bucks and then going to Brembo kit and getting the master slave cylinder. It was a lot of nonsense that I just didn't want to spend money on. And two, I, I didn't care for. I want the Brembo look, I do. But at the end of the day, it's not worth that extra $1,000 to get that look and do the full upgrade. So I ended up spending $1,000 on these lines and the installment. Um, so the lines I think were like 320 after labor is like 400 bucks. Um, you're getting close to that thousand dollar mark. I just rounded it up. So like 700 bucks for the steel braided brake lines. But the difference, I can tell instantly. Now given, I already had um, very worn brake pads, so maybe I'm biased. But like, when I tell you the difference was insane, the moment I got back on this bike, it was insane. And now, I don't know if you can tell, but like, it just locks in. I can't even pull it all the way back. Like this thing, it locks. Like when I want to stop, I stop on a dime. It's Love it. Love the steel braided brake lines. Um, and it looks sick. You can get any color you want. I don't recommend going with Spangler because <laughs> these were definitely sitting. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but because the there's yellowing on my lines from where these grommets were. And it's because the lines were sitting. And I emailed them. I was like, hey, guys, you know, like kind of annoyed that one, this is the most expensive kit they sell. And they didn't come with the, the banjo, 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 banjo bolts that match the color. It's supposed to match this. It's supposed to be white here or you can get black, whatever. But they didn't come with that even though the cheaper kits, the ABS Elite kits come with it. So I don't know why they did that one. And two, this kit's been sitting because the grommets are yellowing. So I emailed them. I was like, hey guys, like, what's with this? And the guy was like, yeah, no, it's not our fault. And just gave me like a little middle, you know what I mean? And just said, have a nice day. It's like, oh, so we don't care about our customer service. That's fire. You guys are great people. And I was looking for like a refund or nothing like that. I was just saying like, hey, like, could they, I basically just wanted my banjo, my banjo bolts, right? But it's cool, you know. You can't, you can't win them all. <laughs> Nonetheless, it does look sick though. The white lines look absolutely fire. It, it adds that little like, ooh, what's that? You know what I mean? Like it just kind of adds that flavor to the bike, makes it pop. Um, so yeah, still better brake lines. Moving on to my handlebars. This also gets a lot of questions. Ignore this. I don't know why this happened, but it did. Um, we'll go through all of this. ASV levers, code wishes should shave save you money. Um, 
I, I went through hell and back to get a sponsorship through these guys. Kind of same thing with them, but they did give me a discount code for you guys. So if you want ASV lovers, they have white limited edition ones. I want to get the white ones, but I don't want to spend, I don't think like 400 bucks for me. I just don't, I don't have the money for it. I already have lovers too. There's no, if I didn't have lovers, I'd go and do it, but I don't. But anyways, for the people who out there who want them, there is limited edition white levers right now. But anyways, we have the, these are not shorties. These are regular sized ASV levers. I like the regular size. I'm not a shorty guy. Sue me. I don't care. I want the black with the red. Black with the red, both sides. Quality's amazing. The look's amazing. It pops like from this angle, right? I mean, that just pops. You can tell that's not, you know, stock. It just looks really good. And then we went with the, since the beginning of time, the white domino grips. They actually stopped selling these at one point. Um, <laughs> I remember Tuck put me on with Domino Grips and I got white ones and then like, I don't know, four months ago, I wanted to buy them again and they were out of stock, but then they came back in stock. Thank God. I should have bought more than these, but yeah, we got white Domino Grips. They're dirty. I haven't washed them once since I put them back on. Usually you can wash your bike and like wash these like five or six times before the black kind of permanently stays inside of them, but it is what it is. Now for this, this little gap right here. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see the gap. I don't know if you can see the gap or not. That is not because of the grip. That's because of this thing. These are from TST Industries. I couldn't find factory ones. I looked everywhere. My factory one flew off because um, I I don't know what I was doing. I did something. I didn't screw it enough, so this ended up flowing off, so I had to get aftermarket ones. Um, are they TST Industry? Walmart Tech Performance Parts. So I guess that's not. Anyways, these are like 60 bucks. They're the closest things to OEM that they had. And like it kind of looks OEM-ish because the, the rest of them kind of look weird. Like some look like diamond little butt plugs. And it, it just didn't look good, bro. It didn't look good. I didn't like it. So I got these um, and that's, there's no gap on this side. But there's a gap on this side. And I don't know if it's because this bar is messed up or what's going on over here. It could be like a me problem, to be honest with you guys. Um, but yeah, there's a gap there. It kind of pisses me off. But now you guys know about my flaws in my bike. Anyways, we'll kind of i don't this side you can't really see anything so there's no point to go over there we'll just continue with this side because you can kind of see everything moving along um with the bike we have the t-rex industries protective stuff so you have the the front fork protectors you got the rear you got um on the other side i have what is that considered the, that's not the clutch is it the clutch no the clutch is here i don't know i have the protector on that side too i don't know what's over there but anyways yeah these things look really cool. Um, they're like 150 bucks for the set. You get this plus the other, other side. I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you right now. Just to show you. They look really, really cool. I have This bike obviously fell over once, so it's strapped a little bit. But it kind of adds that aggressiveness to the bike. Um, I think a lot of these bikes just need a little bit more aggressive touch to make the bike really come to life. Come to life. So I love it. It came with the bike when I bought it, but the guy who bought had it previously, he put it on. So if you want these... Um, I'll try to put everything in the description. I'll try to put all this stuff in the description for you guys if you're interested in making your bike look similar to mine. Um, but yeah, it's fire look. Protects the bike. When I fell, I had no frame sliders and my, my other side was completely fine. This These things did their job. So absolutely fire. The only complaint I had was that whoever installed my frame sliders did a horrible job and they're too bulky so I took them out. They're just nasty. So, um, But other than that, fire. Moving along, got like an oil cap thing. I forgot where. I think it's Amazon one. Just because the the, the fact the factory one looks ugly as all can be, and it keeps slipping off for mine, so I just ended up replacing it. And I think I ended up getting a factory replacement at one point, but it was like a sharpie color black because it was cheap. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> now to the rear end of the bike, we got obviously the TX protector that I just talked about, and you have the full Yoshi system exhaust. This is the titanium one. They do make an, a titanium. Wait, no. They make a um, they make a stainless steel version of this and they also make a titanium version or they did they no longer make either for this bike when I bought the bike I was told it's titanium so that's what I'm running with um, and when I went on the website the titanium picture looked just like this the only difference was that you can buy like a titanium slip on as well so I don't know but the bike sounds just like the titanium version does so maybe it's stainless steel maybe it's titanium at this point I don't care it's a full system exhaust. I didn't pay for it. it. Came with the bike, but if the only exhaust I'd switch this, this switch this with would be an SC Project, but they don't make a full system SC Project for this bike. I tried getting a sponsorship a while back for them, and they're like, "Hey, yeah, we don't make we don't make it for your bike. We make it for an R1. We don't make it for the the six. And I was like, "Ah, well, I'll just go, you know, myself." But it's fine. It's completely <laughs> it's completely fine. Um, I love this. It sounds amazing. It shoots flames. I get asked as well if my bike's tuned. Not tuned. Completely factory stock tune. Um, when you do get a system put in this 
on this bike you have to go into the shop to, to do something with the check engine light that comes on or else it, I don't know bro I haven't done it so just and point being is it sounds fire I love it it looks good too it matches the bike well um, and the only other thing that I've done to this bike would be the foot pegs when I bought the bike um, the, the guy gave me aftermarket pegs which are these things right here it has a little bit more grip they're like slightly more aggressive you would probably never even know unless I told you speaking of which I'm just peeling away at this look at that that's crazy um, but yeah, these are aftermarket I think these are like 50 bucks um, and you can put them on this side is kind of annoying because this is like <laughs> you would think this is gonna fly off but that's just kind of how the bolt sits but like it's never gonna fly off it, it can't come out this is just kind of how the bolt sits and then this just kind of does its own functionality um, but yeah that is kind of the the entirety of this bike am I missing anything I don't think so like I said it's not tuned um, there's no you know race intake in it or anything like that it's not turbo you'd see the turbo obviously there's no suspension upgrades or nothing like that this is truly OEM plus um, like genuinely this is like everything that's OEM that you can touch touch to make it look a little bit better a little nicer um, obviously uh, the next mods I want to do is I want to get an Alcantara seat I think it will really bring together like the niceness of the bike I've thought about doing carbon fiber pieces here and there obviously real carbon fiber pieces where would they go I'm thinking obviously right here that'd be fire I thought about maybe under the bike too but once you start getting into carbon you kind of have to accent everywhere so if I want to do the bottom of the bike I'm gonna have to do a little bit of the top I'm gonna have to find a piece in the front to change and I really don't want to change this I don't like the way that that black looks in the front if it's carbon so I don't know where I put carbon out on the front that's kind of the only thing that's really held me back um if these came in carbon maybe put carbon there but I haven't found any in carbon so it's like hey you know what I mean it kind of makes it a little hard for me to to add the carbon to my bike but it would add a little bit more touch to it and then and only then would it be kind of complete I could also go the route of expensive carbon wheels get full carbon wheels but it's there's no point bro for me there's no point this is my youtube bike it's not like my go fast be all be an issue bike this is like my youtube bike my sit in the garage look at it like the way it looks kind of bike so also my taste of things just kind of changed i'm not really the whole more more expensive means more better i'm kind of not in that mindset anymore but yeah anyways that is the bike i've been talking for a long long while i don't know how i'm going to edit this because i'm talking so fast but i didn't want to sit here the whole time and just film the bike and whatnot but anyways once again shout out to gp bikes they've helped bring this bike together uh the way i wanted it to um if you just want to go visit them link and everything is on the screen or like location everything's on the screen it's also in the description down below and that being said let's go ride this puppy <sighs> speaking of knowledge i was told never start your bike in first gear because it will melt the clutch onto the whatever it's apparently really bad for the bike so to always put it in neutral before you start it. Um, so now I do that. <laughs> This bike sounds so good. Every time I go ride it, I'm like, oh. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. Now we're on the road, boys. Now we're in traffic, boys. No, I'm kidding. It should stop here in a second. I just have to get to the other side of uh, this area. Everything seems good. If I'm at 60 right now, I have to kind of hammer it. Like, I have to hammer the throttle or the bike won't stand up how I want it to. But if I'm in, like, 40-ish miles per hour, the bike comes up with, no, like, with almost nothing. I probably should get in the left lane, to be honest. I don't know why I'm here with the Mr. Harley guy. Look at this. Hat on and everything. Wow, this is, this is something to look at. I'm not going to lie. Wow, that was... Wow. <laughs> make it make sense, man. Make it make sense. What time is it? What time is it, chat?
<laughs> you guys are <laughs> That's just so funny. The one guy sped up, another guy slowed down. That's comical, truly. It's like, it's like, it's like, why? There's no point. That was a cop, by the way. Like, oh, you see a cop? Should you like slow down if you're speeding? Should you start slowing down? Are you ready to stop or should you just keep going? If you don't see that cop instantly pull out after you, I would 100% argue the fact, go faster. Because he already knows you're speeding, right? You're not gonna save yourself by braking. Like he already knows you're speeding, right? You're better off just going faster and go, oh, I didn't see you. But I didn't even know you were there. In my opinion. Because then you're not evading, you know what I mean? Just an issue, dude. It's all my fault. Our brain's like, all right, we're good to go. Blip, blip. And then I get scared. Or I go, blip, blip, and I don't move. Or I go, blip, blip, and it's perfect. There's not really a nice in between. I think that might just be because I keep trying to wheelie at different speeds, when in reality, I should just wheelie at the same speed on repeat, get used to that, get used to balance point, and then go up from that, you know what I mean? And then do the lower speeds, and then do the higher speeds. But instead, no! Mike wants to do all. Oh, I'm losing my mind, guys. Sorry. No one wants to hear that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, all right. We out. We out. Uh, if you want to see me stream, twitchtv slash B. I play League occasionally. I'm not nearly as energetic because League makes me. Never mind. Anyways, I love you all. Follow me on my socials, the Insta. TikTok is all I want to be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace! That was a voice crack. Woo!